Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah here with Furniture Flip by Sarah. And in today's video, I'm actually doing a thrift store challenge. So I have $50 cash. I'm going to see what I can get for $50 Canadian. Uh, there's no sales right now at the thrift stores and I don't have any coupons. So I am paying full price for everything, but I'm going to see how much money I can make with $50. I am probably going to get smaller items because um, right now it's easier for me to flip those. Um, I can lift them by myself and everything, but hopefully I'll be able to find some items worth flipping. We ended up going to one thrift store and a coffee shop actually, which is really good. I got an iced macchiato, I believe, and it's super good. It's caramel, um, but I did pick up a few items from that thrift store. I spent, I think $25, um, I'll double check my receipt. So I have still $25 to spend. So I am gonna head over to another thrift store and see what else I can find. So we're gonna head over to the thrift store. There is two different locations we wanna check out. I'm here with my sister who is going to also be doing a thrift store challenge. So I'll put her YouTube name up here if you guys wanna check that video out, but let's go to the thrift store. So I wanted to share with you guys a few of the items I got at the thrift store. So I did end up picking up this vintage picnic basket for seven, uh, $7. This mirror here with just a gold frame for $8. This beautiful vase for $3. A couple more. This one is like a vintage pottery. And this one's really unique here. I think I'm going to use the um, baking soda paint mixture on both of those. And then I have this bowl set here, which was $3 for the set. And then a couple baskets. I believe this one was a dollar and that one was $3. And then this one here with a lid I got for $4.99. And I'm going to go ahead and paint this one 
um, before I post it. I think I'm just going to paint two of the vases, the mirror, and this basket here. The rest I'm just going to post as is, but I will share with you guys how I post them for sale. So here are the items I am going to add some paint to to help them sell. For the wicker basket, I ended up using Fusion Mineral Paint in the color Raw Silk. It's a super creamy farmhouse color, and I just used this with a dollar store brush, and I brushed on three coats, and then I ended up waxing it with their Lavender Clear Wax. And then I also went on and added some baking soda to my paint. I used the same color for the vases and just added a little bit of detail to them. When I, so that way when I post my photos, eh, they will look new, fresh, um, and it'll attract buyers. The little green jug, I just ended up adding detailed covering up the green. Even though it was super pretty, I wanted them all to blend in. And I left the original pottery piece as is because it was super beautiful. So it's been a couple of days since I posted all my items on Facebook Marketplace. I'll show you guys kind of the listing here. I posted everything, the sizes, um, where I'm located for pickup, the condition they're in, what colors they are. Um, so that I also took really nice staged photos of them. I made sure to have a white background, clean floor, um, add my brightness up so that you could really see a nice crisp photo. And I've sold so far three items, so I'm over halfway to making a profit. Um, it's only been a couple of days, so everything hasn't sold yet. I'm hoping I don't have to lower the price of anything. I will put all the pricing here, how much I bought the item for and how much I am already made or am I going to make. Hopefully the items sell in a couple of days and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I would recommend flipping larger items because your profits are going to be obviously a lot larger but for what I could get my hands on and for the sake of this video I wanted to try to flip some smaller items. Um, definitely check out your local thrift stores, see what you can resell, see what's worth a little bit more. Don't forget to subscribe and like today's video if you would like to see more furniture flipping videos.